Greetings, Missouri City. I want to recap the actions taken at our recent regular and special city council meetings. At the special meeting, the city council received a disparity study presentation from our procurement manager and Dr. Ramsey of Mason Tillman Associates, who provided direction on the disparity study. Moving forward, our next step in this process will be for the City Council to review the report for actionable considerations. Moving on to the regular City Council meeting, I am pleased to announce the appointment of Assistant Police Chief Jasden Hurd. Chief Hurd is a native of Missouri City and a graduate of Thurgood Marshall High School. He has been with the Missouri City Police Department for 15 years and has been a part of investigations, community outreach, and patrol, to mention just a few of his assignments. Promoting an assistant police chief from within the department can bring about several significant benefits, like institutional knowledge and experience, morale and team cohesion, community trust, and understanding. Missouri City is extremely fortunate to have promoted its chief and assistant from right here within our staff. We also began this meeting with moments of silence, acknowledging both former Missouri City Council member Eunice Ryder and Sugarland Public Works employee Joseph Aponte. We are thankful for their contributions and send condolences to their families. Our city manager announced that we will utilize a historically underutilized business to make improvements to the entrance of City Hall. Improvements include removing damaged pavers. I am excited to report that Livability Magazine named Missouri City as one of the four best Houston suburbs in which to live. If you're not already in Missouri City, come see what the hype is all about. The city has adopted the 2021 international codes, including building and fire codes, and the 2023 national electrical code as tools to ensure the safety, sustainability, and efficiency of buildings and structures constructed or modified in the city. City Council authorized the city manager to negotiate and execute a contract with Flock Safety. This means the city manager can renew and add 25 additional license plate recognition cameras for a five-year term. We look forward to seeing you at the final events for Black History Month. The Shades of Brilliant event featuring young authors will take place February 23rd at 6 p.m. Later this week, you will receive a personal invitation from our mayor, Robin Ellicott, for our signature event, the Freedom Walk. Thank you for joining us tonight, and we look forward forward to seeing you at our next council recap.